September 12th, 2023. Uh, not usually how I do things. I have been out of commission for a little while with some very stressful stuff going on in life. And I'm down here in Tuscaloosa. Um, came back down basically in a uh, total health collapse about two and a half weeks ago. Um, lost a lot of weight really quickly. I'm down about 15 pounds from my normal body weight. I don't want my pride or my ego or not wanting to face my own weaknesses, how far I've fallen or what sort of state I'm in to uh, dictate what I can and can't do. We're gonna start this rebuild with my little brother, Harris Busby, who is a personal trainer and fitness instructor. Um, he's my little brother, but he's also my big brother. And I'm gonna put myself in his hands to uh, give me some guidance on doing this the right way. The sweat box. Gripping the ground with my toes, okay? Head up, okay? And I wanna pretend like I'm shitting in a hole. So I'm gonna go down slow. And then up. Now squat depth is again that answer that I've said about a hundred times, is it depends. If you get knee pain when you go all the way down, then we can't, you haven't earned the right to get there yet. So I think you're, I mean, I've seen you squat body weight. You're going to be fine with just this. The other thing you're thinking about is being really tight in your stomach. This is one where it does matter. Again, your whole, all right, go ahead and walk it up and push it up. Yeah. You're fine. I mean, I wouldn't change. I would just slowly progress weight now. You know, again, I know you can do more than that. I'm just watching your, you have, again, just take a little bit of a toe play, mm -hmm. grip the ground with your feet. If you get heavier, I mean, and it starts falling forward, then that may have more to do with like you not being tight in your stomach, okay, on the way down. I'm really not looking to wear you out. I just want to see if it gets heavier, if anything changes. Now, again, I would clip it normally, but you're fine. You don't need it. Good. Two. Good. Three, one more. And good, all right? And walk it up. So it's the same thing as a pull up. If I wanted to make that harder with the same amount of weight so that I don't have to put my, because again, if, if you're new to lifting weights and you're like, man, I'm not comfortable without a trainer to do heavy weight, then I go, okay, just slow down your tempo and add a pause at the bottoms. You are doing great tempo, by the way. That's what it should look like. And then pause and then get out of the hole. Does not have to just be add weight or add reps. It can be add time under tension. It can be add a pause. So it's like I said, it's make your muscles almost inefficient. You're thinking about your door, I mean your hips, being a door, all right? So I'm open door, then I'm gonna karate chop my hips basically, push my butt back so that my hamstrings and glutes get involved. Good. Yeah, and it's tight, it feels like a stretch, right? Push the butt back, butt back, butt back, good, good, yeah. And like what I would do honestly with somebody who hadn't done that as well is I'd say, all right, I'm gonna get you to do this and I'm just gonna ingrain the pattern in your head and you do like 10 reps. All right, so now here's where you actually over arch, all right? Keep your chin tucked, chin tucked, okay? So that's good, okay? And keep, all right, there, good. Okay, because once your hips stop moving back, you don't need to go anymore. Chin tuck. Okay. And I'll show you on camera why you want to have chin tuck. 
And here's where you get into some like philosophy stuff. So I want a body to be as resilient as possible. Meaning like, I think naturally a human should be able to do that and not feel pain. But when you're going through these, you know, courses that you have to take, they're always neutral neck, neutral spine. You don't want to be here. So again, safely, if you're training somebody, if you do it, you're not going to die. Like I said, um, now, again, we're not going to do this today, but as I said, I'm going to go over some other hinge patterns with you to where you can feel that. But the, the biggest hinge you'll do is a deadlift or uh, an RDL. And I prefer the RDL, which is a Romanian. So with the regular deadlift, I'm going to have to squat a little bit to get down there. So it's going to be chest up drag the bar close to my shins. Now with the RDL, I start at the top and I'm still thinking about dragging the bar down my shins. But again, I'm doing the same pattern I just had you do. So that means half the time, the weight should not even touch the ground. Cause once I feel the stretch, I wanna come up. Because if I go all the way down, then my back starts to round, then my shoulders come forward, that's when you run into problems. That's why on a regular dead flip, you go chest up. I think it's, <laughs> I just farted. And you go chest up and you pull up, okay? Uh, you wouldn't believe how many times that happens. <laughs> I mean, with client, no, both, the both. One, <laughs> One time I was working with this like 65 year old woman and she just, I'm, and it's funny cause I'm telling her, cause I'm trying to get her to be aggressive. I'm like, rip it, rip it. And it's like something like this. And she just goes, sorry, like immediately, you know, can tell she's uh, embarrassed. All right, those shoes, right? Not great for lifting weights. Great for walking, great for running. Normally, and if I have a client that wears like big, you know, shoes, I'll say, because that's a cloud, right? So it's hard to balance on a cloud. But if I put it like my hand and I get bare feet, I'm gonna have more stability. I'm gonna be glued. I can disperse my weight and be glued to the ground. Yes. Shoes, but you can tell which side's got less balance. All right, so I'm gonna keep reaching that foot back, good. There, it's all about hinging, okay? You just gotta practice. If you don't have enough strength up here, you will not be balanced on your leg. So meaning you just got a stability issue. And again, that knee is probably messed up because of that yeah. ankle. Yeah, that not that that ankle has any pain, that ankle just has no strength. I mean, it's wobbling like a motherfucker. The, the side of the problem is rarely the problem. You go to a physical therapist and they may go, oh, it's because your hamstrings are tight. So your knee, that's why your knee's messed up. So they may try and stretch you. Then you go to the personal trainer and he goes, no, it's because your quads weak. And so your joints taken over. You have to kind of be into, meaning like we all kind of have our lanes. Uh, I, again, based on my experience have always found that most of the time when people think they're tight, they're just weak. Uh, that was day one. Pretty humbling, uh, but good. Like if, if I'm there to be a student, I gotta be there to be a student. And Harris is a good teacher, so I'm in good hands. Uh, we basically just did a light assessment today, so the only reason I'm not quivering in pain is because we kept it really light. There's an ego challenge in this because I want to get strong as fast as possible. I want to get over this feeling of weakness uh, as fast as possible and getting into something like the uh, good mornings or the hinge movements and really just having it unmasked where I'm weak, how I'm weak and the extent of the weakness or the tightness or those two things going hand in hand but it's good. I'm, I want to put light into all the dark areas.
the process of recording uh, and making the records and understanding what it is I'm actually doing versus what it is I think I'm doing is the reason to be doing all this stuff. Like whether it's my fitness or my life or my health, um, understanding and, and doing what I can to close that gap or, or lessen it uh, between what I think I'm doing and what I'm actually doing. It's a good thing to be laid bare. I think I, I'm gonna look at my legs on camera. I'm gonna look at those shaking, uh, those shaking tight skinny legs right now. And what's gonna keep me going is that they don't have to be that way. And this can be overcome and changed. I want to have patience for myself, have grace for myself. Uh, seeing someone work through or manage or deal with their pain or their struggle, uh, it can be very scary or it can be a very beautiful thing. Watch me process and alchemize pain and hurt into something more beautiful, something stronger. Don't be the guy that, that says, I, I didn't know better, I never knew better. Know better, learn better, teach yourself. You can be in control for a lot more than you think. You can't be in control of everything, but we can take control of a lot more than we give ourselves credit for. Hey, you love piss, baby. You think you're so fucking cool, huh? You think you're so fucking tough? You talk a lot of big game for someone with such a small truck. Oh, look at those arms. Your arms look so fucking cute. They look like little cigarettes. I bet I could smoke you. I could roast you. And then you'd love it. you text me I love you. And then I'd fuck you.